I wonder how hot that is. Yeah. How hot is it? <laughs> so you get it kind of close to your face. Why you would you stick it in your face? I was a teenager. Caution. Calm is hot. Hey everybody, welcome into the first Friday video of 2024. I am Tom, this is Russell, and this is Nisa Part CC. Uh, we're doing a little bit of construction here in our media room, as we now call it. Russell's making it fancy. You'll notice that the dark gray is gone. It is. Um, we're getting in some insulating tiles. Yes. So if it sounds off, uh, bear with us. It sounds gonna be improving by next week. 1% better <laughs> sound by next week. Actually, it's gonna be 100% better, I hope. It's a little bit echoey. At least five. Tiny bit echoey. Yeah. And it feels like my voice has more bass to it. Well, I, I added a bass improver. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's a technical term. Good. Um, today, we have got S13 parts. It's probably yeah. exclusively. Yeah. Some, some, of these, exclusively. some of these pieces cross over to some other vehicles. Overlap. But yeah. we're going to stick to S13s. If you are an S14 owner, um, just go first off, second off. S15 owners, you can stay. D21 owners, you can stay. S14 guys. No, can I say stick around because you're never too old to learn something new. All right, you're lucky that Tom spoke up for you because the way you get in the comments sometimes, S14 owners. I appreciate all comments, good or bad. <laughs> I don't care what it's about. Um, let's start off with this one. We want to get this out of the way. We're going to pretend like it's 1984 again. Uh, the cigar lighter assembly. Cigar, cigarette, um, whatever. Bottle rocket lighter. Mm -hmm. But um, you probably don't even have yours anymore. But I mean, how many times have you gotten in a car and it's just missing and there's just a, a place for your kid to stick its finger? <laughs> I would say at least once. You ever stuck your finger in one of these? It doesn't do anything. I don't know. It doesn't do it, but I, I'll tell you what I have done. Don't do it. <laughs> is I pushed this in before in a car, and I've seen it glow. And it got stuck. And I'm like, I wonder how hot that is. Yeah. How hot is it? So you get it kind of close to your face, and like, yeah, it is pretty hot. And Why you, would I, you stick it in your face? I was a teenager. I was like curious. Right. I didn't stick it on my face. I was okay. like, okay, let's see if I can feel the heat. And it does get pretty hot. And I was like, well, I'll touch it with my finger just like a split second. And that gets hot yeah it's not like oh that was hot it was like oh, no. yeah 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 um but if you're looking to you know spruce up the interior a little bit even if you don't use it it's just nice to have one yeah if you've got like a super super nice 240 yeah i mean have you ever bought a car and the first thing you do is you look to see if it's been used it's like oh man smoker's been in here um i do that with all my cars yeah i don't i don't know Maybe I'm just weird. <clears throat> Maybe. Anyway. Yeah, so get, get, get you this. Um, headlight, the motor link for mm -hmm. the pop-ups. Um, a lot of reasons you could replace this, but the main reason is because the little teeth will break off. Oh, okay. And then you're, you know, it, it's, like a, it's like a wiper linkage almost. Right. You know, once the teeth start breaking, then all of a sudden it doesn't function properly anymore. But um, really popular. I think this is one of the parts that Every time we bring them up, and we've talked about them a lot, we've posted about them a lot over the years. Every time we talk about these, people are like, oh God, I can't believe you can still get that. I need that. It's, you know, it's shocking to me the things that people um, assume are just discontinued and mm -hmm. aren't. But then I'll, <laughs> can I get a dash from my S13? No. Right. <laughs> what you got? Um, I'm gonna keep it simple to start off with. New year, new you. Yes. Yes. How about an oil change? Change it up. Your car needs it. Guarantee it. Yeah. Guaranteed. You need it made in Japan. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Solid. Love a love a good OEM oil filter. Yes. Five minute job. Yeah. OEM. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna hop. Hang on, hang okay, on. Okay, okay. What are you doing? I wanted to see where it was made. Oh. <laughs> Philippines. Okay. Well. Interesting. That's 
that's strange. But anyway, um, let's clean up that engine bay. Because yes. I know that you're missing these, or they're broken, or they're yellow, mm -hmm. <laughs> or the rubber's gone on one half of this. Or the lid of it's gone. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you right now, I snapped this together earlier, and these are really hard to get apart. Yeah. They're probably not so hard to get when they're mounted in the car. You probably just stick something in there and pop it open. But I was trying to be gentle. I didn't want to mess it up. But they, it, it, once it's yeah, locked in. 30 years old and you try to open that up. Yeah. This rubber is probably falling apart. Um, yeah. But these are these are really common. People buy whole sets of these from us and clean up that engine bay. Um, and then, you know, when you want this rubber to mount your brake lines, your hard lines, keep those fittings in order. Yeah. Um, Door striker, can't talk about these enough. This is one of those things that you have dealt with a worn out door striker for 15 years. Replace it and it will change your life. Mm -hmm. Instant gratification. Guaranteed. <laughs> Just do it. You see that? Just do it. Um, and one thing you might notice is that this one is silver. Um, we do sometimes get these in a zinc coating so um, be aware that if you order them, I checked our shelf, we have a dozen or so of these on the shelf right now, they're all silver like that. So if you order it, the likelihood of you getting what you expect is uh, iffy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess what we could do, if it's important to you that you know both sides match, yeah. put a note when you place your order. Yeah. If possible, can I get two silver ones or can I get two zinc coated ones? Yeah. If there's no note, I'll just assume that. Yeah. Yeah, you, know. you probably have the zinc-coated ones on your car if you still have the OEM ones because I believe that's how they came. Okay. Um, I did look through some sales brochures and a lot of the vehicles um, that with the doors open, they did have a zinc-coated one. I was curious um, what you got. Um, how about Chuki turn signals? Love them. Love them. These are gorgeous. Half amber, half clear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that, that OEM clear lens can't be beat. Don't come to me with your crystal, you know, aftermarket lights. They're terrible. <laughs> you know they're terrible. And these come with the plugs on the back? Yeah. Let's have a quick peek, see if they come with bulbs. What do you think, Russell? Did you look 100%. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Very nice. <clears throat> Wiring harness with bulbs. Nice. Yeah, so Chuky Turn Signals are gorgeous. If you've got some rock chips in yours, or they're faded, or they've got like crazing lines in there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna jump in because you're on lights, so I'm gonna stick, stick with it here. Uh, the JDM marker lights, uh, they're amber, and then the JDM versions, the late JDM versions, have this little bump out, which is really common on the Japanese marker lights where the US ones are just flat. Hmm. Um, I don't know why they do that, but um, I think it looks kind of cool. It's not a huge difference, but you, your marker lights probably look like your your turn signals doing. They're probably, you got the little lines all in them and broken and yeah, all that good stuff. All right, how about a refresh of your yeah. exhaust system? If you're driving along and you hear knocks underneath, rattles, buzzing noises, um, Give your exhaust system a quick tune-up. Yeah. Now, well, you can see that. Russell, you're going to put some great footage up yeah. there on the, on the thing, so yeah. it doesn't matter if you know you can see it here or not, but um, rubber hangers. Yep. They don't last forever. No, absolutely not. They will stretch. They will rip. They'll get hard, lose their absorption. Um, yeah. There's that zinc coating you were talking about. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get a good shot of that. Now, there. that one, that's a, that's a hot seller there. Yeah, these two. Yeah, both of those uh, we sell a lot. Those are the ones on the front. So if you uh, if you got a, a turbo car, or even an NA car, where the uh, downpipe comes out of the engine bay into the exhaust, that all kind of connects all those pieces. Mm -hmm. And that's a that is something that you want that you want that insulator especially to function properly because all the torque from the motor, you know, when you're accelerating hard and all that good stuff. You don't want that feeding back to the exhaust. Right. And if you're under there <laughs> inspecting this to see if this block is still intact, yeah. Um, 
Get a quick peek at your motor mounts as well, because right. if you've got a lot of movement in your motor because they're worn out or detached, yep. motor mounts, this is getting stressed beyond all belief. For sure. For sure. The best for last, I feel like, um, S13 Sylvia block yeah. cylinder. Still one of my favorite parts. Um, this thing opens, flips open. This is old school. Mm -hmm. How many cars, you know, pre 90s had a flip cylinder on it, even on the doors? Remember some of the cars yeah, had my, them on the doors? Uh, yeah, my 73 Lincoln has one on its trunk. Yeah, so really, not, really cool touch. I, I like that it like includes the emblem, the lock cylinder, everything all in one, cleans up the back end, I think, and then you get new keys uh, with it. Obviously, you'd have to get everything recoded to match or change your keys or get, you know, whatever you have on the car, however you want to do it. But um, these are just some of me and Tom's favorite parts of the S13 that we wanted to point out to you guys that, you know, why you should replace them, why you might want to replace them, why you might want to get them and store them because we say it almost every time we do an S13 video, these parts ain't going to be around forever. They're either going up or going away, it seems like. That's, a lot of them. Yeah, if they're sticking around, the price is, you know, going up because yeah nissan says you want to keep them around <laughs> let's pay for them <laughs> well they got to offset the cost of the electric technology right well they had they put a lot of research into that uh nismo aria they posted um we're not going to talk about that in this video that's another video but wish they were doing it in the u.s that's all i'm gonna say hmm well, that's it. I think that's all we got. Yeah. So uh, if you didn't already check it out, go back to Wednesday's video. Yeah. Um, our What the Truck one. That was a good video. Yeah, giveaway. Pure Major giveaway. Guy. And you guys can enter that too. Yeah, and if you have not subscribed, if you're somebody who checks out our channel, thank you. Hit the subscribe, hit the notifications because we are almost 10K and we are excited. How close are we now? We're, we need like 100 more people. All right, I think we can do that. Sign up. Sign up. Tell your friends. Yeah. Um, but thank you. Happy weekend. See you next week. <laughs>